Hello and good morning, I'm Andy, this is Ruby. Ruby's already made friends with the neighbours next door here and they're all really friendly. It's a lovely spring morning here at 11 Glanners Gethin and as you can see, this situation here is beautiful with the view of the sea at the end of the road. I've got a few more surprises in this video to show you, including in the bathroom and in the garden out the back. So let's go and have a look round. If you're interested in doing some DIY and upgrading somewhere, this could be right up your street. Come on then Ruby, let's go inside and see. This driveway is long enough to park several cars on and it leads to the garage at the end. As we go in the main entrance door, the lounge is straight ahead, the bath and shower rooms on the right and the two bedrooms are on the left hand side here. This is a good double sized bedroom at the front and the one next door to it is definitely only really a single. But it's got a good built in wardrobe here so the room shouldn't be so cluttered with furniture. The heating's got a combination of storage heaters and some electric panel heaters. And although complete redecoration is required, there's quite a few UPVC double glazed windows. And the only wooden double glazed window that's left is in the bathroom here. I said I had a surprise for you in the bathroom, and that's because not only is there a shower cubicle, but there's also this bath, crazily, has been converted into a cupboard. It's a fantastic for hide and seek. And don't worry, I've had a quick check, it just lifts off, it's not screwed on or anything. Now the bungalow is in a lovely flat environment and one of the big attractions of this bungalow is going to be that what it lacks in bedroom space, it easily makes up for in living space. And with the rising popularity of wood burner stoves and open fires, this fireplace here should prove popular with people too. This picture window in the lounge dining area gives a great view of the back garden which is really colourful and beyond the garden there's some nice trees and a meadow which horses graze on. This kitchen is functional but it's another reason why the asking price is so cheap. We're expecting the new buyer to go out and plan the kitchen of their dreams to fit in here in the future. Beyond the kitchen this door opens up to an enclosed porch and beyond that there's this lean-to sun lounge. You get a particularly nice view of the garden from here, but the main attraction is over to the west, that distant sea view. The single garage here has got a lofty space at the top for storage, and out the back here, this wooden panel could be removed, and you could probably wheel out a small boat or something and store it in the back garden. This is the view over the stone wall across the meadow at the back of the garden where the horses graze. Well that's all Ruby and I have got to show you at 11 Glanners Gethin at the moment, but I can tell you it's a real sun trap at the top of the garden here. If you'd like to come and have a look at the bungalow for yourself, be prepared, you're going to have to do redecorating and eventually you're going to re need to refit the kitchen and bathroom as well. But at the end of it, you're going to end up with a lovely bungalow in a beautiful location, fitted out to just how you want it. Oh, so we're just losing Ruby here. I'll just get her back in a minute. So if you'd like to come and have a look at 11 Glanners Geth in here, please give me a call on the usual number. It's 01341 281 599. And if you'd like to be updated with future properties coming on our books and to watch the videos, please subscribe to Sanderson Estate Agents YouTube channel. I'm Andy Sanderson. This is Ruby. Thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you up here soon. Bye bye now. Music